Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Seppi. And in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about something that's so highly requested from literally, ev like, at least two to three comments under each of my videos these days is asking about my hair. Um, so, and even on Instagram, I get so many questions about my hair, so many DMs about my hair, so here we are talking about my hair. Um, if you guys have been following my YouTube for over a year, which I doubt you have because it's only really the following has really just gone up recently, so you won't, might not have been ventured to see this video, but I did do a hair care video like a year ago. Pretty much not a lot has changed my hair care routine, anything that I have switched up, this is an updated version I guess. Um, but I thought I'd talk to you guys a bit more about like the quality of my hair, what it's like and everything that I do to try and maintain it. So as you guys can see my hair doesn't even fit into the frame of this uh, video so I'm going to try and like show you guys how long it is. So my hair goes well be below my waist so comes up to about my tailbone, this is my tailbone, so my hair pretty much comes up to about my tailbone, maybe even a bit longer, and yeah, this is just what it looks like, it is very, very long, and this is what my hair looks like, I showered about three hours ago, and I didn't, did I brush it? I don't even think I brushed it when I showered, like after I, sh straight after I showered, I went out to lunch with my friend Annabelle, and I've come home and I've just um, brushed it through for this video um, but I would usually obviously brush it because otherwise it gets very tangly but yeah the quality of my hair is very straight and obviously the heavier that your hair gets um, the more straight it's going to be because yeah the longer it is it's heavier and so it will just end up coming out a lot more um, straight. I'm just playing with it so you guys can just get an idea of what it's what it's like. So it's very straight. Obviously, I haven't put any hair heat on it, or even a hair dryer to try and help dry it. So there's a little bit of like a kink to this front bit, but otherwise, generally, it's basically straight. And if I use a hair dryer on it, it'll just be dead straight. If I ever go out and I want to style my hair, I'll have basically just dried it. So yeah. So I guess the first thing that I should say about my hair is that I don't really use a lot of heat on it. I try and wash my hair at night time and um, what that means is I go to bed with pretty much towel dried hair and when I wake up in the morning it'll be mostly dry. If it's about 80% dry, because London weather is quite cold and I don't want to catch a cold as Irene and mums put it, but basically I don't want like to get headaches from the coldness and the wet hair, um, I'll just dry whatever is left the dampness but that will greatly reduce my drying time from about 15 minutes to 2 minutes. So yeah, I try and reduce the amount of heat that gets to my hair. I don't really have to style it um, because my hair's naturally straight. But if I do, it's really like not that often. Like I honestly feel like in the past year, I've maybe styled my hair like it's from, it's September now. So in the past nine months, I've probably styled my hair a total of like five times. Um, I'm quite lazy in that sense, but I do want to like start curling my hair more and stuff just because it's so long I feel like it'll look pretty, but um, I guess that's another secret to why it stayed quite healthy is that it doesn't get it doesn't get heat styled a lot um, Obviously, I know that's not convenient for all of you not all of you are gonna have um, quite straight hair or hair that doesn't need to be styled So I guess my trip my trick for you guys would be to go to bed um, with your hair towel dried and then dry it dry the rest of it in the morning because that will reduce the amount of time you hold a hair dryer to your head and reduce the heat and heat damage to it. The next thing that's really important for healthy hair is regularly getting your hair trimmed. Um, so I would say I haven't had my hair trimmed in a long time so I'm not really taking my own advice but I think I got my hair trimmed before summer holidays or at least I wanted to. Um, I do recommend, the reason why I haven't done it a lot is because it's so long now and I keep saying I just need to get it cut and I keep putting it off but for it to get to the length that it is now, I did trim it regularly. Uh, I would trim it about every six to eight weeks and that would definitely help to keep it healthy. Now I'm going to go on to the products that I use in my hair. Um, so before I show you them, I just want to say that I try and use the least amount of products in my hair as I possibly can. I know in a lot of cultures people put hair oil or um, 
you know, they say to make your hair healthy, like put in hair masks and all of this. I've never dyed my hair, so I don't really have like damaged hair um, in that sense. But I guess a lot of people put in hair masks and that's another um, thing, like another product that they use. But I don't really use hair masks or anything like that. Um, so I try and minimize the amount of products that I use. And I try and use good products when I, when I do use products so that I don't need to use them often. I just use one very good product every so often. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't put like oils in it, um, like I know that in some cultures they like drench their hair in oil from top to bo bottom, they soak it, even some Iranians do that. And they put like hair masks and um, all of these sort of rejuvenating things, I don't really do any of that. Um, but obviously if you've dyed your hair, I guess that's a, another story for itself. But yeah, I've never dyed my hair so far. Um, I do really want to dye my hair jet black, but if you guys have watched any of my other videos, you'll know my mum doesn't let me. She says I'm going to regret it. Um, I don't know if that's true. I really want to, but she says that the quality of my hair will never be the same and I'm going to miss this colour. And when she was my age, she wished she didn't dye her hair and all of that jazz. So yeah, I, until then I can't give you advice on dyed hair. Um, so the products that I use. I basically stick to the brand Aussie. Um, I have eczema and I get eczema in my hair as well, in my head, on my scalp, and unfortunately sometimes it, if it breaks out my eczema then it can look like dandruff, so um, I have to be really careful in that I don't switch up my shampoos a lot. So when I go on holiday and I haven't like taken my own shampoo with me, that's when I might get like dandruff for a couple of weeks, or um, in hot weather um, I get like dry scalp and stuff like that from like the eczema so it's really important for me to use good quality shampoos and for that reason I use Aussie I'm not too fussed on the exact type of Aussie shampoo that I use so for example this is the um, awesome volume shampoo so I either use the awesome volume or the miracle moist I'm not too um, fussy on that um, I just like to make sure that it's something that will either give volume to my hair because it's quite flat because of how heavy it is and how straight it is um, uh, or I'll use the moist one just to make sure that it still looks so shiny and I love the smell mm -hmm. I love the smell of this I feel like part of the reason why I love to leave my hair wet is because it smells so good in with the Aussie shampoo for conditioner, um, this is I guess what's changed, um, I used to use the Aussie conditioner or I would use um, an argan oil one, I can't remember what, what brand it was from, I think it was like something X, I can't remember. But um, now I just use the Aussie Deep Treatment 3 Minute Reconstructor. Um, so I think that they tell you, wait let me see, basically this is like a deep, deep conditioning um, it's wet from the shower, sorry guys. This is a deep conditioner. So this one's for damaged hair, it's like a deep treatment. They don't recommend using it that often, it's meant to be like just for when your hair is not doing too well. But I personally use this as my conditioner every time I take a, take a shower. Um, just because I think that it's so nice when you leave it in afterwards, your hair ends up feeling so soft. And it's basically like a normal conditioner that they just tell you to leave in for a bit longer. So that's what I do, I put massage this into my hair um, and I leave it in for about three minutes whilst I'm just scrubbing with the loofah the rest of my body. And yeah, this is what I use to condition my hair and it comes out feeling super soft. I guess you could do the same with the normal Aussie conditioner, which is what I also do sometimes, but I don't have an Aussie conditioner with me right now to show you guys. Um, but if I did, it would probably be the same as the, the shampoo. So I'd use the Miracle Moist one or the um, Awesome Volume one. Um, yeah, I use it every shower. There's nothing saying, wait, let me read. So I'm reading the back of the bottle and nothing says on it that you can't use it um, like every single shower. So I'm glad I'm not really like doing anything bad to it. But obviously read the back of the bottles and see if there's any um, problems with using a deep treatment sh conditioner every shower. I don't, I don't think there's a problem with it. My hair doesn't even need deep treatment, but I feel like because of how long it is, I like to give it a deep treatment and I like to get all the tangles out of it and everything. Another product that I love using, and this isn't some sort of Aussie advert or anything by the way, like as in I just, I feel like their products work well for my hair, is their Miracle Hairspray Volume and Hold. Um, this is the only hairspray that I use when I need it. Um, I don't need hairspray that often, but when I do use hairspray I use this as well. And again, it smells so good and it does what it says on the tin. So when I curl my hair and I spray this in, it does hold, hold my hair 
my curls in for a really long time. And the final product that I use in my hair that I literally have searched the whole house for and I cannot find it anywhere apart from this sample version that was literally in my um, like bag, toiletries bag, is this Argan Secrets Argan Oil. Yeah, this is it, Argan Secrets Argan Oil. So this is basically just, um, it comes in a normal like brownish container with a label on it. I'm sorry I'm showing you guys this version but I really can't find mine. So it's basically got uh, argan oil from Morocco and I, I don't use argan oil that often in my hair. I would say I use it when I'm going out and let's say tonight if I want to go out, it's a Saturday. My hair is not really perfectly straight. I haven't dried it at all or anything. I'll hold the hair dryer on it for two minutes to get it looking smooth and then to to kind of get rid of the flyaways and have it looking silky and glossy and shiny, I would put a, a, a drop onto the top of my finger, rub it into the base of my hands and rub it all throughout my hair. Um, and I'll rub it that same drop throughout my hair for a couple of minutes, just make sure it's in everywhere. I don't put a lot on my roots and I don't put a lot at the front of my hair, otherwise it'll end up looking greasy. But that's what I think gives my hair like a nice little shine to it and makes it glossy and smell nice and healthy. Um, as you can tell, I love my hair smelling nice. So um, yeah, I do love using oil in it sometimes, but it's very little and I probably use it once a week. Um, if that. So that is the end of my um, hair care tips tricks and products that I use. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me down below and let me know if there's any more questions that I can answer regarding my hair care or if there's any other videos that you would like me to film um, on this topic. I'm more than happy to film them for you. Don't forget to check out my socials. Um, they'll be linked down below in the description, but my Instagram is Persian Bunny, my Twitter's the Persian Bunny, and my Snap is Sepi Samai. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!